Much is said about the virtues and pleasures of individuality, of being someone who stands out from the crowd and delights in their own particularity. But let's also admit to how frankly lonely and frightening it can be to find ourselves yet again in a peculiar minority, where the differences between us and others strike us as bewildering rather than emboldening. When, for example, everyone seems to want to gossip, but we prefer generosity and forgiveness. When everyone is at ease, but we're melancholy and self-conscious. When everyone is cheerful, but we can't seem to let go of anxiety and apprehension. When everyone seems confident, but we feel suspicious and ashamed of ourselves. When everyone is contented in their couples, but we're still searching for a home. When everyone worries passionately about the future of the planet, but we feel cold and at times almost indifferent. When everyone seems to love life, but we're not sure if we quite do. At such times, we might benefit from a few thoughts to alleviate the isolation. Firstly, we don't know reality as well as we imagine. What we believe that everyone is like may not be how they actually are. We may have more friends than we think. Also, we're getting statistics wrong. These four or eight or twelve people in a room don't represent all of humanity. The eighty or so people in our extended social group are in fact always a minuscule part of the human story. There are still so many friends left to meet. Also, perhaps our existing companions actually know much more about the material we feel alone with than we suspect. They and we simply haven't found a way to share our true selves. Maybe they will feel what we feel one day, just not yet. It may be fine to belong to a minority. Minorities have sheltered some of the most accomplished spirits that have ever lived. Isolation may just be a price we have to pay for a certain complexity of mind. And lastly, we have art to bridge the gaps between ourselves and other people. Bookshops are an ideal destination for the lonely, given how many books were written, because their authors couldn't find anyone to talk to. Maybe there are people nearby, perhaps in this community, who would understand very well indeed.